Hi, everybody. Welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike. So we're talking about the article "Books on the Rail Get People Reading." This idea that when you're on your commute,、uh, instead of just listening to music or looking at your phone, this project "Books on the Rail" is encouraging people to read. That's right. We learned that this program might have been inspired by a similar project,、uh, books on the underground in London, which was being done on the underground, the tube, or the MRT、mm -hmm. in London. But the the project we learned about was in Australia, right in Melbourne,、yep. Australia. And Pat told us actually that he's been to Melbourne, and they do have many trains there. A lot of people commute or go to work or school in the morning from home by train, and through this、uh, new program, new project. You can borrow books. You can write little reviews. You can write your location, and then when other people pick them up, they get a little bit of the history of the book.、Mm -hmm. But of course, they also get a wonderful book to read, and it's just a great way to spend time on the MR on the the train, I should say.、Yep. If you're not listening to music or fiddling with your phone, why not read some classic novels? Well, let's find out more about how this works by reading through day two of our article. Reading. Books on the rail gets people reading. The people responsible for leaving all the books behind in books on the rail are called book ninjas. Anyone can become a book ninja by signing up on Books on the Rail's website. From there, Books on the Rail will send you a package with the stickers to put on books. Books on the Rail has become so successful that even authors and publishers have participated. Kellis and Berg say that they receive a box of books a day to leave on public transportation. They've also been contacted and supported by big name publishers such as Harper Collins and Penguin. Add to that, there are tons of requests for stickers from eager book ninjas, and things are looking good. Currently, Books on the Rail is self-funded. That means Kellis and Berg pay to send out the stickers themselves. However, The pair has started looking for organizations to work with, with some real resources. Who knows how far books on the rail will spread? So day two starts by saying the people responsible for leaving all the books behind in books on the rail are called book ninjas. Before we find out what that means, let's look at the word "responsible," which is an adjective spelled R E S P O N S I B L E. Responsible, and if you're responsible for something, you are the primary cause of something. So you can be kind of be blamed or given praise for doing it. Or if you're responsible for something, you have the duty to do something. So here we're talking about the first meaning. We're saying it's because of these people, these book ninjas, that there are these books. On the rail, we could also say so many people are responsible for making this film such a big success. Okay, so book ninjas.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. A ninja. Well, you might recognize that word from sort of Japanese history or from many exciting movies or computer games or comic books or、mm -hmm. things like that. Ninjas in in real life were actually a lot of a lot of them were farmers and they were spies for many of the great Japanese warlords and armies and stuff. They would send out their their ninjas to spy on the enemy. But、mm -hmm. through movies, through video games and television shows, they've become these sort of、uh, fairly sort of, cool. Fairly cool killers Killer, who wear all spy, black、scouts. and kill people in silent, deadly they, ways. Sometimes they're they're、like、giant、that. turtles. With, That's true. Yeah, with cool bandanas and weapons, and named after Renaissance yeah, artists. Yeah, that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was my first introduction、oh, to the idea of ninjas. Probably、okay. a lot of people's. Probably not very historically accurate. Never mind. It but they're pushes still you to learn more、fun. later. Yeah, and、yes. a lot of the weapons they use、so、might be similar. I guess they're called book. 
ninjas because、mm-hmm. they do this project secretly, secretly like ninjas quietly, do. No, while you're watching、it. them, they're、yeah. they're out there、um, putting stickers on books and things like that. As the article says, anyone can become a book ninja by signing up on Books on the Rails website. So you don't have to be a professionally trained Japanese killer.、Mm-hmm. It could be anyone who just happens to like books. All you have to do is sign up on the website and sign up. This phrasal verb basically means. To join something in a formal type of way. All right. So if someone is, sorry, for example, starting a new sports team at your school, they might put a sign on a wall, a piece of paper on a wall, or put a a new website up, and you can go and write in your name and your phone number or something like that. So you have officially signed up. You have joined in this team or this event or this activity. Some things you just go and you don't have to tell people you're going. You just sort of show up. But if it's something a little Little more organized, you might have to sign up. For example, Tim signed up to run a marathon later this year. Well, good luck, Tim. So, in order to sign up for Books on the Rail,、mm-hmm. you need to go to their website. Ah, yes. And the website, of course, is just the page on the internet that is dedicated to a particular topic or person. For example, you can find out more about a band by checking the band's website. Maybe listen to a few tracks, learn when their shows are, that kind of thing. Absolutely, and the article says from there, books on the rail will send you a package with the stickers to put on books. So once you're signed up、mm-hmm. and you want to be a book ninja, they'll send you a package with all of those stickers, the、yes. special books on the rail stickers that identify the books. As being from this program, and it seems it's been very, very popular. That's right. The article says books on the rail has become so successful that even authors and publishers have participated. Cool. So an author, spelled A U T H O R, author is a person who writes something, and normally we think of. Books.、Uh, when we think about authors, but you could be an author of a newspaper article, you could be an author of a song or an article online or something like that. But an author, we usually think of someone who writes books for a job or as a hobby. For example, J.K. Rowling, of course, is one of the most famous authors in the world. Never heard of her. Nah, me neither. Nah, anyway. I don't know who wrote that. But if you're an author and you write famous books like Harry Potter, of、oh. course, someone will have to make those books. You can't just write them on your computer and post them on the internet. Well,、that's, actually, you can. These you days, can, but, but you <laughs> won't make any money, and that's no. no fun, anyways. So you want to find a publisher. A publisher is basically a company that prints and sells books. They might also print and sell magazines, but many publishers are in the book selling and book making business. So when the the、uh, publisher finds a great book or a great writer like J.K. Rowling, they'll sign a contract and pay them an amount of money. And once the book's finished, the publisher will make the book, advertise the book, send the books out to the bookstores where we, the happy fans, can go and buy them. For example, we could say Harper Collins is one of the biggest publishers out there. So、yep. if you want to be an author, maybe send your first novel off to Harper Collins, and who knows? They'll reject it. They probably will. <laughs> Well, but you never know. <laughs> okay. Now the article continues and says Callus and Berg say that they receive a box of books a day、wow. to leave on public transportation. Wow. So that means people who like this idea and maybe have old books that they don't want anymore, but don't want to throw away, are sending them these books、uh, all the time. And hey, please put this on the rail. Hey, I want to give you a book that I don't. I've already read it. It's great, but I don't want it now.、Cool. Please put it on books on the rail. Very, very cool. And not only the public is helping out; it says they've also been contacted and supported. Excuse me, by big name publishers such as Harper Collins and Penguin. Yeah, Penguin is another.、Uh, it's a British another one of the big ones. Publisher, yeah, prints a lot of great books.、Um, so these these big companies, the big publishers, big name publishers, sort of means famous or important in their industry. They're also in touch. I guess if they have new books and they want people to buy them, they might put them out. There or maybe old books that they have extra copies of, they'll put them out there, and it's it's good for the company because people see that and say, "Wow, the company is being very generous and nice. We like them." Now there, Mike mentioned the、uh, this big adjective, name publishers. big name. So、mm-hmm. big name is today's shortcut for you. So we're going to take a short break, listen and learn more about it from some big name teachers <laughs> here at AMC. Really.
Shortcut for you. Guess what? What? My band just got a deal with a music company. What? Really? Yup, it's a big name company too. A big name company? Is it hard to say? If something or someone is big name, it is famous. I see. Big name is 知名的 Bingo. We signed with a real big name company. Does that mean you will meet other big name bands and singers? Probably, yeah. Can I meet some big name stars too? Why? I'm a big name star now. So as we just heard, big name means famous with a lot of money and a lot of influence. People that a lot of the people around the world will have heard of.、Mm. For example, there are a lot of big name Hollywood stars in this movie.、It、means there are many famous actors that are well known. All right, and add to that, it says there are tons of quest、uh, requests, I should say, for stickers from Eager Book Ninjas, and things are looking good. So this is yet another sign that this program is doing very well. It's very popular. Lots of people are borrowing the books.、Uh, big companies are offering them books, and people as well are offering them many books, even every day. And they have a lot of volunteers. These Eager Book Ninjas are also helping out. So it seems every Every part of the program is very healthy and doing well. At the beginning of that sentence, we had the phrase "add to that." Basically, when you're making a list of things in different sentences, "add to that" can be sort of marking off the last thing in the list. All right. So I had a terrible weekend. I felt sick.、Uh, my dog threw up on my carpet.、Oh. And add to that, I think I'm getting a cold or、oh, something.、No. You know. So it's just it's just showing you that there's one more thing in this long、mm -hmm. list of things I'm saying. Like in addition, also. And yes, something、exactly. like that. Now here we've got、uh, tons of requests.、Uh, so tons of means lots of.、Mm. If you were being literal, it would mean the weight one ton, which is quite a heavy weight.、Mm -hmm. So there could be a one ton of requests. But we're not usually being literal when we use tons of. We're just using it to mean a lot of. For example, there are tons of movies about superheroes these days, meaning there are lots of them. That's right, because people are eager to see superhero movies.、Indeed. I suppose, yeah. If you're eager, this adjective spelled e a g e r, eager, it basically means you're enthusiastic, you're keen, you really, really want to do something. All right, so if something is happening in the future, the near future, and you're really excited about it. You can't wait for it to happen. You've been looking forward to it for a long time. You would say you're eager. You're eager to do this. For example. Kelly is eager to catch up with her junior high school classmates this weekend. She's excited and looking forward to her reunion. Okay, so the article then talks a bit about how this、uh, books on the rail movement is run, is managed. That's a good point because it's all free. Yeah, at the start it says currently. Books on the rail is self-funded.、Hmm. Now the word currently is an adverb. It's spelled C U R R E N T L Y. Currently, and it just means right now, at the present time. Okay, so right now it's self-funded. We could also say I currently rent an apartment. But I'd like to buy my own one day. So right now, this this movement is self-funded. What does that mean? Something is self-funded. It means you are providing the money yourself. You're not borrowing it or getting it from a bank or a rich uncle or something like that. You're doing it yourself. You've saved up your own money and you are going to spend it in whatever way you want. For example, if you go to university and you've been saving your money for many years, you could say my education was self. -funded. Funded. I didn't borrow the money from my parents. I didn't get a loan from the bank. I provided the money all for myself by myself. Yeah, and the article explains more about this and says that means Callison Berg pay 
to send out the stickers themselves.、Wow. So they buy the stickers, they pay for the stamps and the postage.、Mm-hmm, they、mm-hmm. do all of that themselves. Good for them. And it says, however, the pair has started looking for organizations to work with. Yes, I guess as the program gets bigger and more popular, it becomes more expensive for、mm. Callisonberg. So they're looking for some help from different organizations. An organization. Well, this is a very general word. It's also a very long word. So let's spell it. Organization. O R G A. N I Z A T I O N. An organization is basically a group of people working together for a common goal. It could be a company. It could be a group of people doing、uh, work for charity, just to help out others who need some help. But as long as people are working together in、uh, in some sort of unified and focused way, we can call that an organization. For example, this organization is dedicated to helping people all over the world. To receive an education. That's a good organization. Great goal. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully these guys get some money. Books on the rail can get some financial support、yeah. and see where it goes. As the article finishes off by saying, with some real resources, who knows how far books on the rail will spread? So you know, if they had a bit more money, some more stickers, you know, someone to help them out. Because there's just two of them. Plus the book ninjas, you know, this、mm-hmm. thing could really take off. It, it could, could get all over Australia and many other cities. Now there we use the word、uh, resource. That is spelled R E S O U R C E. We used it in the plural resources, and your resources are the things that you have, basically something that can be used or sold in order to achieve a goal or meet a purpose. Some resources could be money, so that's financial resources. It could also be the people you've got. It could just be the system you have, or even the people you know. Those are all resources. It's something you can use to. To achieve a purpose, for example, my boss always says that people are the company's most important resources. You know, forget the money, forget the buildings we have. It's the people who work here that we need the most. All right. Well, who knows how far it could go? But、uh, that is the end of our article. So let's wrap things up and go to our for you chat question. For you chat. So the question is: Would you like to be a book ninja? Why or why not? Do you、hmm. want to get involved in this project? Well, yeah, it sounds pretty interesting. I think it would definitely be good to encourage people to read. If I if I was a ninja, and I put a sticker on a book, and then a few days or weeks later, I saw someone reading that book. That would make me feel very happy. My problem is that I love my books. I、yes. keep all of my books, and I wouldn't mind giving away other people's books. But if someone came to my house, they'd say, "Hey, you have lots of books. Why don't you give some to the program?" And I'd say, "No, no way. Get out of here. Don't touch my books. I love them." Yeah.、Um, so I would feel a little bit fake. Okay, <laughs> doing it because I don't want to give away my books, but I would happily help other people、yes. give away their books. Yeah,、no、I'm、problem. probably in a similar situation to you. I have a few books that I've either borrowed or got that I wouldn't mind giving away.、Uh-huh, but、sure. the books I have are either all on my Kindle, so they're oh, e-books, I see.、Okay. or or there's a few that I really want to keep for one reason. I,、yeah. I don't want them to be given away. The ones I do have, and I can't give away my Kindle and leave、nope. that on the MRT. Definitely so not. I don't actually. Actually, have many books.、Oh. However, if someone were to send me a box of books、mm-hmm. and a few sheets of stickers,、yeah. I would happily get involved in the project. Would you take out the books that you want to read first? I'd maybe give them a read, but and、okay. you know, keep them until I'd finished them, then、and、put then them on there. Them. So I like、idea. the idea. Just maybe, like you say, not giving away my own books that I want to keep. It's true. Even these days on the MRT, if I, everyone's on their smartphone, and if I see someone else reading a book, give them a nod. Kinda, yeah, well. Give them like a hey, look、All、at、right. us. We're we're living in the 1990s. Well, what about you guys? Would you <laughs> like to be book ninjas? Why or why not? Discuss the question. But we're out of time for today. Thanks for listening for English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Books on the rail gets people reading. The people responsible for leaving all the books behind in books on the rail are called book ninjas. Anyone can become a book ninja by signing up on Books on the Rail's website. From there, Books on the Rail will send you a package 
with the stickers to put on books. Books on the Rail has become so successful that even authors and publishers have participated. Kellis and Berg say that they receive a box of books a day to leave on public transportation. They've also been contacted and supported by big name publishers such as Harper Collins and Penguin. Add to that, there are tons of requests for stickers from eager book ninjas, and things are looking good. Currently, Books on the Rail is self-funded. That means Kellis and Berg pay to send out the stickers themselves. However, the pair has started looking for organizations to work with, with some real resources. Who knows how far books on the rail will spread? Vocabulary review. Responsible. The wedding photographer was responsible for capturing all the meaningful moments from the couple's special day. Author, the bookstore has a wide selection of novels, including modern work from new authors. Eager, the little boy was eager to swim and ran toward the water. Currently, the time is currently one twenty-two p.m. So we have about twenty minutes before the movie starts. Organization. This organization collects clothing and blankets for the homeless in the area. Resource. The land development project is on hold for now because of a lack of resources.